Hey there, I'm Dr. Mark Daly, and I have been asked what causes irritable bowel syndrome or IBS flare-ups. If you are suffering from IBS, you're not going to want to miss this. The information will be absolutely vital to your recovery. We're going to look at two different approaches to the treatment of IBS, the modern medical approach versus the functional medicine approach. You are going to like this. Okay, so what is irritable bowel syndrome or IBS? IBS is a group of symptoms that affect your digestive system. It's a common but uncomfortable gastrointestinal disorder. People with IBS get excessive gas, abdominal pain, and cramps. So IBS is a type of functional gastrointestinal disorder. These problems cause your digestive tract to be very sensitive. They also cause changes in your bowel movements and your bowel muscle contractions. The result is, again, abdominal pain, diarrhea, and or constipation. Researchers have categorized IBS based on the type of bowel movement problems you're having. The kind of IBS that you have can affect your treatment. Now, certain medications only work for certain types of IBS. Often people with irritable bowel syndrome have normal bowel movements some days and abnormal ones on other days. The type of IBS you have depends on the abnormal bowel movements that you're experiencing. So IBS with constipation or IBS-C most of your bowel movements are hard and lumpy. IBS with diarrhea or IBS-D, most of your bowel movements are loose and watery. Then there's IBS with mixed bowel habits or IBS-M. Uh, with IBS-M, you have both hard and lumpy movements, sometimes watery and loose on the very same day. So typical treatment options include medication and possibly dietary and lifestyle changes. Now, I find that modern medicine tends to treat the symptom of IBS instead of actually looking for the root cause of the problem. With functional medicine, we actually look for the root cause of the problem, and I'll share what I commonly find in just a moment. Contact your primary care physician if you have bleeding, fever, weight loss, or severe abdominal pain. Now, when I treat IBS, I do a deep and thorough health history as well as a travel history. There are several laboratory tests that I find extremely effective at finding the root cause of IBS. One is a stool sample, which actually shows me what bacterial organisms are living in your gastrointestinal system. Not only does it show bacteria, but it shows potential pathogens like parasites. Um, I also do a food sensitivity test, which is extremely powerful and informative. Most people are actually driving their own conditions without even knowing it. In the real world, from a clinical perspective, there are several things that I see again and again in irritable bowel syndrome. I see food sensitivities. I often see leaky gut syndrome. I find pathogenic bacteria, dysbiotic bacteria, lack of healthy gut bacteria, and often small intestinal bacterial overgrowth. Without testing, you are really guessing as to the root cause of your IBS. So let me share with you very quickly, within two minutes, a real case study, how modern medicine missed the underlying cause of IBS. Today we're going to do a case study looking at functional medicine versus modern medicine. It is an irritable bowel syndrome and fatigue case. We'll look at the traditional modern medical approach first. The patient was a 27-year-old female with an 11-year history of irritable bowel syndrome and fatigue. Let's do the math here. The patient is 27. She's suffered for 11 years, which means this whole issue started at age 16. So from age 16 to 27, she had to figure out every bathroom between her home and her school, or her home and her job. 
For those of you who have suffered from irritable bowel syndrome, you know what a nightmare that can be. She had seen four different doctors. The medical testing consisted of an upper and lower GI study and a colonoscopy, all of which were found to be negative for any pathologies. Treatment consisted of prescription medications. The results were poor. The functional medicine approach started with an extensive history and review of medical records. The functional medicine practitioner ordered a digestive stool analysis and an allergy blood test. Two bacterial pathogens were found to be affecting her intestines. The medical literature clearly linked these two pathogens to diarrhea disease. In addition, her allergy test revealed a sensitivity to gluten and rice. The patient was prescribed a natural pharmaceutical that helped eradicate the two bacterial pathogens and was placed on an elimination diet addressing the rice and gluten sensitivity. After one month, she was symptom free. Functional medicine did in one month what modern medicine couldn't do in 11 years because they didn't remove the triggers. Symptoms are visible represented on the top of this picture, the tip of the iceberg, arthritis, diabetes, heart disease, autoimmune diseases, cancer and obesity, and of course, fibromyalgia. The underlying causes are not so easy to see. They require an in-depth health history, metabolic assessment forms, and if necessary, advanced testing. As you can see, this poor girl suffered for literally 10 years because modern medicine didn't look for the underlying cause and they were satisfied simply to treat the symptoms. Now, if you have had irritable bowel syndrome, you know that you have memorized every bathroom from your home to your workplace or from your home to your grocery store or from your home to school. It is no joke. It is a major inconvenience. And this poor girl suffered for literally 10 years because modern medicine didn't look for the underlying cause. Please do not let that happen to you. The proper testing is at the heart of recovery, and it's so easy. You can do it at home. The advanced laboratory testing actually identifies what the enemy is, and only then can you develop a treatment protocol that's designed to bring recovery. Now, if you would like my help, I'll be happy to send you the test kits. The food sensitivity test is simply done with a finger prick and a few drops of blood on a test panel. The stool sample obviously is done with a small sample of your feces, and that can be collected right in the comfort of your own home and sent directly to the laboratory. In the test kit, you have everything you need to get your sample. Now, if you'd like to schedule a time to talk with me about the testing, I'll leave a link to my schedule in the description below. My hope is that this video has given you some insight and hope that you can actually recover from IBS and not simply manage the symptoms, which can be life altering. If this video has been helpful, please like it and subscribe to the channel. We put out a video every week designed to help you overcome chronic conditions and enjoy better quality health. Dr. Mark Daly is the founder of Fibromyalgia University, the president of Birmingham Functional Medicine, creator of Fibromyalgia Heroes, which is a coaching and implementation recovery program. He is a certified functional medicine practitioner, a nutritional counselor, and a doctor of chiropractic. He has advanced education in functional endocrinology, functional blood chemistry, the brain and neurotransmitters, as well as thyroid function.